everybody. Reverend Fuzzy back again. I guess you noticed that. <laughs> I'm everywhere that you want to be. <laughs> well, today we're going to cover a very special topic. We're going to go over, is there any real right or wrong? You might have heard somebody say, I don't believe there's such a thing as right or wrong. Or maybe you've heard a professor saying, there are no absolutes. When I hear that, I want to say, are you absolutely sure? You have to ask yourself, is this statement even logical? Is there any right or wrong? When people say, there is no right or wrong. Or, it's wrong for you to impose your morals on me. Think about it. By them telling you that, they're imposing their morals on you. The fact is, we inherently know right from wrong. We have this weird tendency to disregard it though, especially when it conflicts with our desires for pleasure or personal gain. Now sure you might justify having an affair, but certainly you couldn't condone your spouse having one. Or you might justify taking something without permission, but if you were the one being robbed, you wouldn't think it was okay. There isn't a person alive today who'd come home from work and discover their entire house had been robbed and say, oh, how wonderful that this burglar is able to enjoy all my things without my permission. And who am I to impose my view of right or wrong on this poor burglar? Oh. You see how ridiculous that is? Of course. Even those who claim there are no right or wrong have their own moral conscience. They've set it on their own standards, though. Here's a good way to determine right from wrong. Turn the situation around on yourself. Jesus said it best. He said, do unto others as you would have others do unto you. You see, we all know that murder, rape, lying, stealing, and torture, and injustice are absolutely wrong. Why? Because we wouldn't want any of these things to happen to us. The person who would say, there is no right or wrong, would not agree that it's okay to be raped. So, when you turn it on yourself, you realize that even the even inside ourselves, God has placed a moral conscience, and that conscience tells us when we do right and when we do wrong. And when we violate our conscience, we instinctively need forgiveness. So yes, Virginia, there really is a right and a wrong. Okay, everybody, I'm going to take off for now, but before you go, don't forget to show us some love and smack that like button. And if you haven't already done so, also smack that subscribe button, followed by smacking the notification bell, so you'll be notified when we post new videos on here. Alright, catch y'all later.